What's up you guys, it's Adana. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, thank you so much for joining me today. So I have been kind of just giving you guys information on like what questions you may have, especially with this whole COVID-19 like hitting the world and how it's like affecting pre-PAs and PA students and PACs in general, um, kind of across the board in di various different ways. And one way that it's affecting my pre-PAs out there is test taking. Um, and that's the same thing actually for PAs and PACs, but that is a whole nother video that I will get into later. But that's what I'm gonna be talking about today. I made a video a while back about everything kind of shifting to online versions and uh, really and truly it's, is the same for the test taking model. And I know that a lot of you were really excited because you were like, yes, the pro metric or primetric centers are closed. I don't have to take my GRE, so my schools are no longer gonna require the GRE. Sorry to say, you're sadly mistaken because the GRE testing is still going to move forward. And that is the same thing that's going to happen with the PA cat. So I just wanted to bring that information for you. And if you want more information like this, um, anything pre -PA related or GRE, just healthcare information and all, please hit that subscribe button, like this video and hit the notification bell so you can know every time that I put out a new video. I'm going to go to the GRE information first. So a lot of you take the GRE for various different reasons, not just PA school, and you were concerned about not being able to take your test. Well, um, ETS is launching the GRE general test at home option for test takers. So when you just go to ets.org, I will leave that link for you as well. You can just click um, the GRE section because uh, you can do backslash GRE and then click that hyperlink. So let's go there and see what they're talking about, okay? So to meet the needs of students who are unable to take the GRE general test at a test center due to public health concerns, ETS is temporarily offering a GRE general test at home option in selected areas, okay? And this is gonna be done through ProctorU. So I am very familiar with ProctorU because I used ProctorU when I was taking all of my different tests for my online classes that I took through University of New England. Um, maybe some of you are familiar with ProctorU as well, but there will be like a pro, like you literally have to have your computer, um, the, you're gonna have to like span the room with your camera so they can see that there's nothing in the room um, of your test taking area. Uh, you're gonna have to like test your mic and all that stuff so that they can see, hey, like you don't have any like materials that you can cheat with. And there is like a proctor just looking dead in your face while you're taking the exam. So um, that is the option that they are going with for the GRE test. Okay, so it says that the test is offered in your country or location as of March 23rd, which was last week, 2020. The at-home test is available in the United States, Canada, Colombia, France, Germany, Italy, Spain, Hong Kong, China, and Macau, China. I think that's how you pronounce it, I don't know, but I did my best. So you have these three steps right here where you can go and see if your computer meets the actual requirements that is needed to do the test taking at home. Um, so that is something that you would wanna go through and look at. And also you're gonna have to sign up through like ProctorU, like you have to do a systems check through them. So that is something that you should be aware of because don't think that just because, hey, you know, test centers are closed and you know they're not offering tests regularly anymore that you don't have to take the GRE because you still are required to take the GRE and the PA cat. And if you haven't seen my last video on the PA cat, it is the physician assistant college admissions test um, similar to the MCAT. Please go um, I'll leave a link for that as well, where you can just click on that video and get more information on it. But it's the new PA school entrance exam. Um, so there are about like 10% of schools that are currently recommending it or requiring it. So if you're interested in a school that is actually requiring the PA CAT, then you're gonna have to take it. And they also have an online version for you to do as well. So I'm gonna just go to the PA CAT. Um, so websites, I click on this link for you guys so you guys can see exactly what they're talking about, okay? Um, so let me go to their COVID-19 updates. 
All right, so let's read what this says. As the entire world copes with the detrimental impacts of COVID-19, Exam Master shares the deep concerns of students and educators about the effect that the crisis will have on the current and upcoming admission cycles. Um, we are working timelessly, tirelessly with our partners at ProMetric testing centers and clients at PA programs across the country to ensure that students are able to take the PA CAT safely starting May 1st, 2020. All right, so here's their newest update. I know a blow for all of you guys that are sitting up here and you're like so sad because you're gonna have to take these exams, um, but they're doing this uh, and still with your safety in mind. So maybe uh, this might be a benefit for you all. It says, we have worked with the ProMetric to provide a remote proctoring option for the PA CAT. Scheduling for remote live proctoring is now open with the testing beginning May 1st to schedule to take the PA CAT remotely and to ensure that your computer meets the technical requirements of Permetrics live remote proctoring platform. Please visit and it gives you a hyperlink. It says we recommend scheduling the PA CAT exam as early in the cycle as possible to ensure availability. Registrants who have already um, completed an appointment to take the PA CAT may reschedule their appointment to take the exam remotely. Okay, so that is the information there for you guys. You will have to take these exams. You have to do it remotely. I highly suggest that you all, um, you know, schedule your exams, you know, early in the cycle because you have no idea what is going to happen. We don't know how things are going to continue to shift. So it's important that you secure your slot and hopefully maybe Maybe some of you, um, you know, actually taking the test in the confines of your own home, that might give you a better sense of like comfort. You're not going to be as stressed, you know, having to wake up and go someplace. You just kind of wake up, you roll out of bed and, you know, just brush your teeth and stuff and you go and you take your exam and that might be a better situation for you. So look at this as a plus. Yes, you still have to take the exams. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. But what that all that means is now you have an opportunity to kind of just make your actual test taking environment one that will be conducive to your success. So hopefully this information is beneficial to you and helpful to you. Um, and you guys can do well on these exams and get into PA school or whatever other GRE program that you are trying to get into. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any other questions for me, please leave them in the comment section below. If you have any questions about the PA CAT specifically, leave those as well and then I can like shuttle them off to um, the, the representative at Exam Master that I'm in contact with so that they can answer and I can give you guys the information as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time.